The first consciousness as a baby came to my head or into my body with food. Food uh, in the form of uh, my mother's milk. And that milk really was the first thing that gave me a mini sense of identity. I remember um, the joy of crying, drinking, and sleeping, and then waking up again. And I thought that was life, that was me. And I also remember uh, being denied or taken out of that sense of identity when my mother stopped breastfeeding me. And of course, I was at the age of one. Uh, they substitute milk with rice wine for me. So I've been drinking since then um, from my, for all the story of my life. But what I realize now, but I didn't know then, was food was one of the most important things for our community and also developing our sense of identity and also sharing with other people. For example, we had political uh, obligations, religious obligations, and social activities in our village. And without food, our life was not complete. I didn't know that food came from our jungles, but when I grew up, my uh, ancestors and also my relatives, they took me to um, the jungles where we hunted for our food, especially vegetables, fruits, and animals. And that habit, we did it out of Necessity is one thing. The other one was out of uh, tradition. And sadly, we haven't got that habit that much anymore due to the fact that our forest has been, had been destroyed for the last 30 years. Why I'm telling you this? Why? I think food is important for not only for our tribal people, for other people. I'm someone who faced starvation while I was hiding in the jungle with the rebels. And from then on, I started to feel uh, the essence of life. Well, essence of life is not much in our uh, way of thinking as a tribesman because we don't think much. We are much more into action. We like to feel it. And when I, was, I had a chance to leave my community, I became more aware of other people's culinary and gastronomic activities and tradition. Particularly, when I came to Europe, I enjoyed the Italian coffee. I, when I was in England, I enjoyed English fish and chips, which I couldn't understand first, and, and so on and so forth. And also, I came to really appreciate uh, the beauty of each ingredient each spice. I used to work for a hotel to design food for them. But my understanding of the connection between my identity and my community became more intense as I saw 
uh, quite a lot of brilliant things being produced. And that any dish that we produced wouldn't taste as good had we not understood the sources, the culture that brought it. And that's why I wanted to mention the fact that our jungle had been destroyed a lot in this country. And I want to really explore each and every one opportunity that we used to have and now what we can do. And especially nowadays that modern food, so-called GM, genetically modified food, coming into our country, not only as food, I think, as crops. That's what's the most uh, dangerous thing for our community, for our society. Because for centuries, we have been uh, depending on nature, on natural uh, harvesting, ha or growing fruits and vegetables and crops. And this is being threatened with, within 20 to 30 years, being threatened with this so-called modern uh, agricultural practice. I'm not talking it about it out of uh, sentimentality, but there is a small bit of sentimentality in it, I must admit. But I say it because I witnessed during my two years return to Burma or Myanmar, if you prefer it that way, I witnessed a lot of deaths, mostly young people, not from the shooting or the killing of each other, mostly from food-related diseases, especially cancer. Thirty years ago, when I was a boy, I was, we, cancer was really hurt. We thought cancer was a disease for rich people because they had every good food to eat to kill themselves. <laughs> but now it has become so common that in my hometown alone, I, if there's a funeral, you're likely to see middle-aged and younger from cancer-related or other chemical-related, particularly drugs. And this really frightened uh, the community, but they don't know it, why they should be afraid of it. And then when I follow their death, or I inquire about why they die, how they die, um, they told me that this person used to eat this kind of food, mostly snacks. They are non-alcoholic people, they are non-other people, but they just eat from the outside, they look, they are only eating normal food. But when I look at the crops or the, the fields they planted, they are mostly pesticides. They use pesticides on the night before this, we're going to sell tomorrow, that kind of thing. And that is the main reason I notice. And the other thing is destruction of our environment, because now they are sending these foreign GM crops, for example, the American corn. They claim that it resists diseases, the bad weathers and sort of thing. And the, the way they come in, like Misu said before, was from the outside. But the problem doesn't end there. It's just the making local community grow, expand the agricultural uh, fields, especially cut down our virgin forest. In that process, our traditional tribal and other backgrounds has been uh, decimated and being undermined from the bottom. And I see it as the responsibility of the authorities who are in charge of these areas. And then the last thing I would just like to say is, Whatever we talk about, whatever we agree or disagree, the last thing is our stomach is a king. And we had to look for inspirational things, look for better technology. We had to feed ourselves, we had to enjoy it. And for me, the coming month in the jungle is baby wasps. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.